Cholesterol is an important molecule for the body. It is an essential component of cell membranes, and it is also the precursor of vitamin D, a number of hormones such as estrogen and testosterone, and serves as a component of bile salts. Fatty acids are essential molecules in the body. They are the preferred molecules used for energy storage and are used as the precursors to a number of local hormones, such as those that mediate inflammation. Both cholesterol and fatty acids can be included in the diet, and so the amount of these molecules which we eat can then affect the amount which is in our bloodstream and in our body in general. Both of these molecules can also be synthesized from scratch within the body. So our DNA contains the genes to generate cholesterol and fatty acids from other things. And so the level of these molecules in our blood is in part determined by diet, but also in part determined by the synthetic pathways of our own bodies. The DNA in every human nucleus contains a number of genes which are responsible for cholesterol synthesis, such as HMG coenzyme A reductase, HMG coenzyme A synthase, farnesyl diphosphate synthase, and many others. There are also a number of genes which are responsible for fatty acid synthesis, such as acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase, fatty acid synthase, steroid coenzyme A desaturase, and others. How much cholesterol and how much fatty acid does our body make? Well, this is regulated. And the activity of these genes is regulated by a family of transcription factors known as the sterol regulatory element binding proteins, or SREBPs. These encode the proteins which migrate from the endoplasmic reticulum to the nucleus when cholesterol levels are low. They bind to the regulatory elements in uh, the genes responsible for cholesterol and fatty acid synthesis and control their levels of activity. This explains the commonly seen phenomenon that when someone tries to cut cholesterol or fats from their diet, that the level of cholesterol or fats in their bloodstream may not change much because when the body senses that uh, these levels have been reduced in the diet, uh, transcription factors travel uh, to the nucleus, which will then increase the synthesis of the enzymes which will make new cholesterol and fatty acids from other things. And so therefore, in uh, your body can change the amount of cholesterol and fatty acids synthesized in the body based on changes of the levels of these molecules in your diet.